also, oh, there it goes. Hi, folks. Uh, my name is Inky Jones. I also uh, am a resident of Oak Park. Uh, I think, I believe it's District 5. Is that right? Yes. This is District 5. Excellent. So, uh, and I'm here tonight uh, as an advocate for the unhoused homeless or homeless citizens of Sacramento. These are citizens who, by city ordinance, your city's ordinance, are made our city's ordinance, our, our city's ordinance, your city's ordinance, uh, are made criminals for simply living outside. It's part of the ordinance. Or lives outdoors. Ticketable offense. This is unacceptable. I urge this taxpayer-funded council to instruct our taxpayer-funded police department to end harassment of their homeless neighbors now. We cannot continue to enforce an ordinance simply because it exists. <clears throat> we must be diligent in determining if our existing ordinances are in line with justice. I believe that this is one of your responsibilities as our council, to listen to the heart of your people and truly shape a city that works for everyone. Please understand that if things do not change, you will meet resistance. To repeat the words of Martin Luther King Jr., we will not obey unjust laws or submit to unjust practices. Ticketing the homeless for their, ticketing and harassing the homeless uh, for their existence is unjust. Limiting the use of public space to those who look a certain socioeconomic status is unjust. I don't think I need to remind this council of the financial costs of mistreating your neighbors. Taxpayers, me included, do not want to pay another $1.6 million for your unjust decision making. So we ask that you cease and desist in the enforcement of unjust ordinances. Thanks. It's going to read our document, uh, but I won't, but I know that it was delivered to you this past week, our cease and desist document. Uh, I'll be back next week to read the full text of that. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, folks. Uh, my name is Nikki Jones. I was here last week. <coughs> Good to see you guys. Uh, I live in District 5. I work in Midtown and in Del Paso Heights. I'm here tonight to read a document of policy suggestion from the Sacramento Homeless Organizing Committee. Uh, and in the following weeks, I will be here with you uh, to break it down, to discover its logic, its necessity, and why it's a positive step towards good governance for this council. City of Sacramento, now the document. Uh, City of Sacramento, we insist that you immediately quit criminalizing homelessness, quit harassing, ticketing, or threatening to ticket people for living outdoors, for sitting, praying, laying down, standing, or resting on public property as long as they are not blocking passages and entrances. Quit attempting to rid homeless people from the downtown or other areas unless those attempts involve providing housing, shelter, or areas where homeless people can set up, near san set up a tent near sanitation facilities voluntarily. Quit similarly prohibiting or discouraging people from being in their legally owned and registered vehicles. Quit locking up and otherwise decommissioning public restrooms. Quit harassing, ticket, harassing, ticketing, or threatening to ticket individuals and groups from eating and sharing food. Quit prosecuting infractions without allowing and providing legal counsel. Realize these aren't the practices uh, that are practiced all the time by every officer with every homeless person that they come across, and that's part of the problem. Uh, it's selective enforcement, and it causes fear and insecurity in the everyday lives of uh, people who are living on the streets. Back to the document. The above policies inflict added hardships on homeless people, endanger their lives, and prevent them from achieving the stability necessary to end their homelessness. These restrictions we would place on you are in no way asking you to behave in any way contrary to a good conscience. Though this cease and desist order is not intended to be directly associated with any consequential legal threat, we demand this for the good of the homeless and other residents of Sacramento. We demand a more moral and just Sacramento. I'm getting Would to my last thought as well, please? absolutely. We do, though, hereby pledge to pursue justice in whatever manner we find at our disposal, like Rosa Parks, civil disobedience, uh, not part of the document, including but not limited to organizing, and I'm going to, I'll wrap it up. We also hereby beseech you to take serious steps towards ending homelessness by more proven and prudent measures, such as the provision of housing, jobs, and other programs designed to help homeless people accomplish stability and prosperity. 
Thank you. John? Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new, and it is not order. 